This video will show the treatment of an auricular hematoma, which is the complete evacuation of the subperichondrial hematoma and reapproximation of the perichondrium to the cartilage. As you can see here, this patient's ear is notable for an auricular hematoma. In most cases, the auricular hematoma will be in the crura of the antihelix or in the superior portion of the ear. However, as you can see here, in this patient, it happens to be more near the antitragus. The patient is prepped with betadine in preparation for the anesthesia. There are four nerves targeted here in the block of the ear, the lesser occipital, greater auricular, auriculotemporal nerve, and vagus nerve. The most well-documented technique is two V-shaped injections, one from the inferior aspect of the ear and one from the superior aspect of the ear, hitting all nerve distributions, and then a last injection at the tragus to cover the branch of the vagus nerve. In this patient's case, he was intubated, and so the procedure was done with a more general approach. After the auricular block, the ear is prepared for incision and drainage. The hematoma may be incised along the natural skin folds along the edge of the hematoma following the natural curvature of the pinna. The incision should be no greater than one centimeter. After the incision, at times peeling the skin and perichondrium off the hematoma with blunt dissection is necessary. Other times, as seen here, Manual massage of the hematoma and evacuation is sufficient. After evacuating the hematoma, apply antibiotic ointment to the area and reapproximate the perichondrium to the cartilage with a pressure dressing. A compression dressing must be applied because a simple dressing will allow the hematoma to reaccumulate. Fill all external auricular crevices with Vaseline gauze. Then place three to four layers of gauze behind the ear as a posterior pack. Using either Vaseline impregnated gauze or dental rolls, pass a 4 nylon suture through the entire thickness of the ear and over the hematoma. Wrap the suture around the roll or gauze on the posterior aspect of the ear and then pass the needle back through the pinna. Wrap and tie the suture around the second roll or area of gauze on the anterior aspect of the pinna. The dressing should firmly reapproximate the perichondrium to the cartilage without compromising the vasculature. This dressing will be removed in one week. Lastly, the patient's ear is packed with fluffs and a hard ear dressing. The patient should be prescribed anti-staphylococcal antibiotics, and the patient should be instructed to check the area for vascular compromise, infection, or both. The patient should be reevaluated within 24 hours to look for reaccumulation of the hematoma or signs of infection.